Hi, this is Dr. Ogini. So today we'll be talking about transmuting, transcending judgment and activating your heart center. So basically I've come across a lot of my clients who have felt judged, who have um, felt that um, that judgment is affecting their body, affecting their mind and don't know how to process it. Usually when they get judged, the thought process sticks in their head and they don't know what to do about it. So we're going to actually talk about how to neutralize the energy of judgment. So first of all, let me define what transmuting means. Transmuting is basically changing something into something better. So you're transmuting the feeling of judgment, feeling judged into something better and lighter. So basically you're shifting your perspective on how you perceive judgment of yourself and judging somebody else. And transcending is going beyond, overpassing. So you're transcending the limited thought process of that judgment. Okay? So when we feel judged, usually we feel tremendous amount of pain in our body. And this pain can be experienced different ways. So if you're not aware, if you have lack of awareness, you may feel the pain in your head because you're thinking, you're overthinking again, and it feels heavy in your head. The more we become aware, we start to recognize that feeling of being judged is somewhere stuck in our body. So when our body gets stuck, so we'll feel a resistance, we feel a tightness, we feel um, a feeling of this tightness or squeeziness in our stomach or in our chest and somehow we feel restless. It's very important for you to be aware when you have these feeling of judgment. So let me give an example. So this is actually a real life story that happened with one of my client. And basically, um, this person was judged of her profession. So her profession was judged as is, uh, for example, it was actually Reiki. So the priest that she came across said in a lecture that Reiki is, is from the devil. So she felt very judged because she's a Reiki master. And she felt like at the same time, she needs to go and explain to the person, listen, this is not what it is, right? But before you start to say anything and defend yourself, so what, what do we mostly do? We try to defend or we internalize this feeling of judgment. So when we internalize, our thought process is constantly thinking about it and somehow you may think days and it becomes, think, think about it for days and eventually that feeling will get stuck in your body and stored without even you knowing, okay? So when we had a conversation, all I did is ask her, where do you feel judged? And and that's actually the, the steps that you want to do when you work through a certain feeling or emotions. So number one is feel and recognize that you're being t judged. And then you ask your body, where in your body do you feel judged? It may take time for you to recognize, especially if you're not aware of yourself. And then you want to ask yourself, where within yourself have you judged like where have you judged in your life towards you or somebody else so when you ask these questions all you're doing you're normalizing the feeling and you equalizing your feelings to the point that you don't feel that resistance in the body and that's called heart center activation and when you make peace with yourself you will make peace with the other person as well. So you start to recognize that's just a perspective of where they're seeing things from. And then you feel like there's no need to argue. There's no need to defend. And you just feel still powerful because you don't need to prove your profession or prove who you are because you know you're very, you're very worthy. And it's a process. It takes time, okay? but it's awareness. That's the key. And once you start to activate your awareness, you become more conscious of these thought process and you're able to transmute and transcend these emotions. 
And that's when leaps, amazing manifestation leaps happen in your life because your vibration starts to shift and you start to vibrate higher. And what will also happen is, first of all, um, when we judge someone else, you're lowering your vibration. Or when you feel judged, you're also lowering your vibration. So basically, you're making peace with that lower vibration. Once you make peace with the lower vibration, you're equalizing the consciousness and you're shifting into a different consciousness. You're not stuck in that lower vibration. But I just want to make sure you understand that we are not judging that lower vibration. That's the key. When we start judging something that's low or high, that's when problems starts to start kick in. So this is very important for that awareness. And if you're not sure how to process this, this is why I've created a six-step process, first of all, to increase your self-awareness, to recognize when you're judging or when you're feeling angry or feeling resentful. And then you can clear these levels of feelings in your body and transmute and transcend and elevate your vibration. So do, through the six-step process, I actually included in there certain yogic techniques um, to activate that. So these yogic techniques are going to increase your feminine flow. So what does that mean, feminine flow? That you are going to, um, the energy is going to flow better. Your pranic life force energy is not stuck and you're not stuck in your head and you're able to create the right action steps when everything is flowing better. So to, through releasing and through doing these steps, you're going to be more present and you're going to be more aware. And basically you're in the power of now, as Eckhart um, has said in the past. So all you're doing is bring yourself in the moment and releasing the judgment that you have picked up thinking that you're being judged, but it was an event. If you really see and observe from outside down, it was just a, an association you had and you got attached to that association. It's nothing about you. At the end, you're still worthy, you're still important, and you're still beautiful. Sorry, once you book that course online, you also have you will receive a one-on-one -on -one session with me. So this way, let's say you cannot process certain emotions and you get stuck in your head, I can help you navigate to release that stagnation. Okay, so thank you for listening to this um, recording and I will see you back on, your, on the next video.